Hey, it's Cameron with Smart Adult Piano again, and I have a quick win today for you guys. When you think of practice, it probably brings back images of those long minutes with your mean parents standing over you, doing that thing you hated while you wish you could be doing almost anything else. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. It can be full of joy and a very meaningful experience. Here are a few things I've learned working with students. I think the biggest mistake people make overall is depending on willpower to keep their practice consistent. Willpower is a muscle, and like any muscle, you can train it to be stronger and last longer, but it will eventually fail under stress. Instead, make it a habit. It's a common misconception that most people develop a new habit within 21 to 30 days. According to Psychology Today, habits are much more complicated than that and based mainly on rewards. A habit is much more easily obtained and kept if it involves some kind of consistent reward. So find a way to healthily reward yourself. Secondly, be realistic. Studies have shown over and over that working on a smaller amount of material more thoroughly will aid your progress much better and much faster than if you try to do too much. It, this will also have the added benefit of spilling over into all of your playing. So be realistic, work on less material. Keep a journal. If you keep a small journal near your workspace and write it in every time you practice, it won't be long before you see a series of successes lined up in your journal. And success builds on success. And this will be very motivating to you. There are so many free tools that will aid in your success. And lastly, and most importantly, please make it fun. Otherwise, what are we doing it for? Remember, we're not doing brain surgery here. If we make a mistake, nobody dies. It's not a big deal. Music is important, but at the end of the day, it is just music. Here's a general practice routine my students have found to be helpful in keeping them consistent and making progress. Start with a warm-up. It doesn't have to be scales or anything like that, but some kind of technical exercise, hopefully connected to something you're working on, that will get your fingers more dexterous and get your mind in the right place. Then start a new material. When you're working on new material, break it down into small sections. I see people over and over, they go always go back to the beginning of a song and play until they get to the part they're having trouble with and then over and over again accomplishes nothing. Break your material up into small chunks, work on the parts that are hard and then start connecting them to the parts that you know well. Then keep a record of all the songs that you've learned and the songs that you know and cycle through them on a regular basis so that you always have them at your fingertips. This is most importantly will keep you happy because you will be have a repertoire of songs that you can play. But when you go to that cocktail party or that family gathering and the inevitable things, oh, you play the piano, let's hear something. When that comes up, you'll have something confident and you can be confident and happy in playing. The last thing to include in your routine, be some kind of ear training. This is just a fancy way of saying being able to play by ear. No matter where you're at in your journey, you can always do this. If you're just starting out, you can listen to a song that you like then try to play it back in your head accurately or maybe tap out the rhythms on your leg. Then you can move on to things like picking out simple melodies on the keyboard or your instrument, whatever it may be. Then you can move on to more advanced things. Okay, there's information on my website about this, smartadultpiano.com, and you can find all kinds of information about this all over the internet. If you'd like to speak to me directly, go to my website, smartadultpiano.com, sign up, and you can always, I offer 15 minute free consultation where we can talk about anything you like and see if it might be a good fit. All right, go practice, be joyful, and enjoy your life. Cameron out.